This has got the fix-it guide. Today we have a dishwasher door that won't open. The latch is broken. So the little thing that releases the front door will not release because it's actually kind of broken off of its where it's mounted inside. So we have to put a new latch on, but we also have to get the door open somehow before we put on the new latch. So I'll show you a little trick that will get the door open on many different dishwashers. Here's what the latch looks like in the part number and we're gonna just use a just show you what's going on here I'm using a standard head screwdriver to push the latch shut just so you can see it kind of how how the latch mechanism works I pull up on the handle and then it opens up the little hook that holds it shut so I'm just going to show you a couple of times push up or you can push in on this part and that also does the same thing it makes that hook let go so what we're going to be doing since the latch doesn't work this black latch in this case a white latch doesn't work we're going to stick something underneath this thing we're going to use a little standard head screwdriver and when we push in really hard it will release that hook and we're going to push in and pull back on the upper part of the dishwasher as we push in. It's kind of two opposite motions. Pushing in with the screwdriver, pulling back on this little rim here, and that should let go. Yep, there we go. So kind of cool, kind of a cool trick. Pretty easy to do. You just need to have a small screwdriver that can get in and push in on that one part of the latch. So I'm gonna show you how it works again. I'm just pushing in this little space, there's not much room there, but it's enough for a small screwdriver and that will make that hook let go. But you also have to pull back at the same time. These things are kind of cheaply made plastic so they don't, they don't last a long time so you have to replace these latches. This is on, a, on an Amana, Amana dishwasher. Just pushing in. So now to replace it, we got it unplugged and we're going to remove all these perimeter screws that are holding the two parts of the door together, the inner part and the outer part. Once you get the screws off, the uh, two parts come apart from each other and then the door latch just pops right out really easy. So once you get the door latch in your hand, you just want to remove the two electric modular connectors and they may be pretty hard to get off so you may need to use a pair of pliers to get those things to come off you just got to pull back pretty hard make sure again it's unplugged you could also pry something in between the latch and the connector so you have a leverage point to push them apart I'm just going to shove something in between there for leverage and then I can get that old modular connector off. There we go. Here's the new latch. So pretty easy. We're just going to put the new connectors on. go and we'll get the latch in position. We'll close the two halves of the door back together and then we're just going to add those peripheral support screws back in. Two screws at the top hold the two halves together but also they hold the door latch in position so it might be good to put those two in first. Going to speed up this process a little bit so we don't bore you but we're just putting all those screws back in these are torx 15 screws so they look kind of like phillips head but they're a different type i 
I usually will just sit in a chair uh, in front of the dishwasher door so that you're somewhat comfortable while you do this procedure. in, give it a little test. So it looks good, door works fine and it starts right up. So thanks so much for watching and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance.